How's it going everybody? This is Cameron White with White Lad Astrology giving you guys your June 2019 horoscope for Libra, Sun, and Rising. Thank you guys so much for being here and liking and sharing and commenting and subscribing. I love and appreciate every single one of you guys and I'm so glad you can be here. We're starting June off with the new moon in Gemini, which is happening on June 3rd. And Libra, this is happening in your ninth house. So this is pretty exciting. Uh, when you have a new moon, it's when you have both the luminaries in the same sign. They're highlighting one archetype, you know, one part of your chart, one house. And the sign of Gemini is all about messages, communication, getting the idea straight and being able to express it uh, functionally. And as this new moon happens in your ninth house, the ninth house is all about spirituality, religion, higher education, uh, far distance travel, foreign languages, publishing, a whole bunch of that philosophical type stuff. And as we have this new moon in Gemini in, the, in your ninth house, this is going to be a really big time of getting better, clear ideas and getting a clear picture on what moving forward can look like for you when it comes to the things of where your spirituality is. If you want to go on a far distance journey, if you want to go travel the world or something like that, I know that's kind of cliche, however, the new... Uh, the ninth house has a lot of really cool aspects about it. So this new moon is going to be a time of kind of resetting your energy right there, getting a better idea of what that area in your chart looks like for you. And then as we move forward onto June 4th, we're going to have Mercury enter Cancer and it's going to be going into your 10th house. Now Mercury is the sign, uh, you know, it rules Gemini and Virgo. It's the planet that's all about our communication, our mindset, the way that we think and the way that we kind of vocalize our thoughts. And as Mercury goes into the sign of Cancer, the sign of Cancer is all about protection, uh, nurturing, um, being maternal. This is about trust. This is about empathy and relating and being close to one another. And as Mercury goes in the sign, this may be this is definitely going to be a time of communicating empathically, communicating in the way that you know you can trust the other person. It's soft, it's tender. However, Mercury and Cancer can also be very clear about what needs to be defended and what needs to be protected. As Mercury enters Cancer, it's going into your 10th house. And the 10th house is all about your career, your public vocation, how the world looks at you. And the 10th house is the top of the sky. So a good way to look at it is everyone can see what's going on in the 10th house. So as Mercury goes into Cancer in your 10th house, this could be, you know, more of communication like Mercury and Cancer happening in your work life, in your professional, you know, world. This could also just be a lot more of how you're expressing yourself and the way that you identify within your public domain, how you identify with your career and things like that. This is being more focused on the necessity uh, of communication and not so much of, you know, what we want to communicate or just saying whatever's on the top of our head. It's about saying what needs to be said. And then as we move forward onto June 8th, we're going to have Venus entering Gemini. Now, Venus is the planet of love and relationships. She wants to bring things together. She, you guys are ruled by Venus. And as Venus goes into the sign of Gemini, this is where Venus is looking to have more ideas, get more mentally stimulated, be able to be more social and talkative. And that doesn't always look the same for everybody. However, as Mercury does go into your ninth house, this is where you're going to be finding more value in expressing and discovering more ideas and being more involved in those ninth house activities like your spirituality, higher education, learning, um, foreign languages, far distance travel, all of that fun ninth house stuff. As Venus goes in this area, this is where you're going to feel more called out to to be like a little bit more mentally stimulated and you'll probably have a, want, uh, have a lot more fun in this area for you. So this is definitely going to be a little bit more exciting. However, as we move forward into June 12th, we're going to have Mars conjoin the North Node and oppose Saturn. This is a pretty big deal. This is a, not going to lie, this is definitely a rough, rough transit. And as Mars is now in Cancer in your 10th house, and this is what we talked about in the May horoscopes, Mars is kind of like, we need to protect and defend our what we need and what matters the most to us. You know, what's, you know, internal? What do we need to shell off from the world? What is soft and vulnerable that we need to protect? And as Mars goes on top of the North Node, where the North Node is kind of like, we're hungry for this protection. We're hungry to trust and to feed our needs more. And, you know, that's what we're wanting to consume. Mars hitting that North Node is like, even in the face of adversity and opposition, that Saturn opposing Mars thing, this is kind of like, we have to do what we have to do in order to have our needs met. That's really the best way to put this, and this doesn't look like a comfortable transition, but a very serious one at that. However, as we move forward a couple days later on the June 15th, that's when we're going to have Mercury conjoin the North Node. And as Mars severs and cuts, and it's very chargeful, and it's in its, you know, fall of Cancer, so it's going to be kind of weird as that happens. 
However, as Mercury go uh, goes over the North Node, this is when that visual, that image is gonna become a lot more clear of about what it looks like taking that action. It's kind of like take action first, think later, you know, think about it later if that makes sense. And as Mercury goes over the North Node, this is gonna make a lot more sense after kind of taking that action and kind of putting ourselves out there. Mercury going over the North Node is saying, this image looks clear and I understand what my needs are. I understand what I need to protect and what I need to nurture more. And this is also when Mercury opposes Saturn too. And Mercury opposing Saturn is definitely like a weird time of like, hey, you know, I know what my needs are and it can be really hard to meet these because Saturn and Capricorn is like, everything that's harming you is out of your control. However, also on June 15th, there's going to be the full moon in Sagittarius. And this is happening in your third house of communication, of your abilities. Like, you know, the first house is who you are, second house is what you got, and the third house is how you use it. And while Jupiter's in your third house in Sagittarius and this full moon is here, this is going to be a time of like, you know, if you have to take action on what your needs are, how can you do that? And this full moon in Sagittarius is giving us the ability to kind of see the potential of hey, now that I have my needs met, now that I know what that looks like, where do I move on from here? What do I wanna grow into? And for you, being this in your third house of ability, communication, short distance travel, neighbors and siblings, things that are within your close proximity, this comes back down to you being more creative and inspired about how you can take action on those necessities. Then as we move forward on June 21st, we're gonna have the sun enter Cancer. This is when it's gonna be entering your 10th house and this is the main luminary. It's bringing warmth and light and gravitation to wherever sign it's going into. And as the sun goes into Cancer, this is a kind of like lighting up, like, you know, where are you being nurtured in your career? Again, this is your 10th house of career, public vocation, the sun's right here. You'll be shining a little bit more. The, you know, stuff's kind of out in the open for you. However, as the sun goes into Cancer, it's time to bring a lot more light and bring start to you know color in the lines of uh, you know what your needs look like. What does that look like being met? What does that look like nurturing your career and protecting what you have built and protecting what you've accomplished there? As well, we're gonna have Mercury enter shadow on June 21st. Mercury will later retrograde in the earlier degrees of Leo. However, as Mercury enters shadow while it's in Cancer in your 10th house, this may be a time where you see maybe a miscommunication within your workplace. You may see uh, you know, an idea come up that you'll revisit. Either way, something will definitely kind of go down on that day. On a mercurial level, this is Mercury stuff, so it's not too big of a deal, but something's gonna happen that day that you'll eventually have to come back, on to, uh, come back to later on. And then lastly, on June 26th, that's when we're actually gonna have Mercury enter Leo. And as Mercury enters Leo, this is going into your 11th house of friendships and alliances and community and more bigger picture like uh, people. Uh, the seventh house is like one-on-one -on -one relationships and the eleventh house is like big friend groups. And when you have Mercury going into Leo, uh, Mercury being again our ideas, our mindset, you know, what we're thinking, how we're speaking, it's going into Leo where it's a little bit more loud, it's a little bit more proud, it's saying what's on its heart. Mercury is going to go into your 11th house of your friendships where you may feel compelled to, you know, speak how you exactly how you feel and what you're passionate about with your friends. However, as Mercury retrograde, you may end up, you know, not necessarily saying maybe the right thing or maybe one of your friends say something a little bit discouraging to you. That may look a lot of different ways. However, we'll be able to understand that a little bit better as we move into July when Mercury actually does retrograde. But that's what I got for you guys. June is definitely going to be a rough month. Like, I kind of waited to say that to the end. I didn't want to start off with that because Mars opposing Saturn is pretty fucking rough. That's like top five, one of the rough, most roughest transits. However, what's important about this though is that we have to focus on getting our needs met because later on, when we get into August and September, this is going to, especially like July and August, this is when we're going to be focusing on not only what our needs are, but what our wants are and fulfilling more of those. So I really do think this month is going to be the time to really focus on getting your needs met, getting them addressed in whatever context that looks like for you guys. And for you, that's your 10th house of your career and just getting it done. Let the Mercury retrograde happen. We'll get through that. And then we get to focus on what we want to do this summer. So with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching and liking and sharing and commenting and subscribing. I love and appreciate every single one of you. And I'll be seeing you next month.